Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've been enjoying the Borealis update for Iron Marines. I know I have. But there are some in-app purchases with this update that you're probably wondering if you'll also enjoy. One of those is Blue Dragon. Blue Dragon is the most expensive of the heroes released with this update at $7. As a fun fact, this image that you're seeing of her right now was the original picture of Blue Dragon used during the beta testing that I and other fans were a part of. Thanks to that, I had access to the lead game designer of Iron Marines giving the backstory to Blue Dragon. Feel free to pause the video to read all of that. Blue Dragon's first ability is Ultra Blast. Gotcha! Blasted! Fangs out! Gotcha! Gotcha! Blasted! This ability shoots a bright beam that deals armor piercing damage to a single enemy. You always know which enemy will be hit based on the blue circle around them. It prioritizes enemies with a higher threat level. So if there is a group of basic enemies and one fire enemy, it will target them. However, you can force a specific target by tapping on the enemy you want to hit. It takes 90 seconds to charge, but it can be used early for less damage. The damage is proportional to the charge, meaning that if it is half charged, it will deal half damage and so on. One really cool feature of this power is that it can bypass shields. Bangs out. Seeking gotcha. Except the shields of surge protectors. Gotcha. Sometimes the animations of this ability can be deceiving. Boring. Gotcha. Gotcha. However, these are minor drawbacks to a powerful skill. This is what it does to a fell bishop on impossible mode when fully charged. Gotcha. Gotcha. This is what it does when charged halfway. The first upgrade gives this skill an instant kill chance. However, because I have no luck at all, I physically cannot get footage of this happening. Hence the random footage of me trying to fight as many enemies as possible. Just know that the chance is also proportional to the charge, and that bosses and structures are immune. It can kill surge protectors, but I have not seen it kill fill bishops. The second upgrade allows leftover damage to be saved for the next use of the skill. However, it can only charge up to 25% so the rest of the damage can still be wasted. On the flip side, sometimes it glitches and charges even when an enemy survives. This is because the game calculates an estimated amount of damage before shooting. Although we don't know the exact calculations, we know that it can be abused. Blue Dragon's next ability is Techbot Copilot. This ability spawns a robot who heals Blue Dragon twice. Both times heal about 40% health for 80% total. It has a cooldown of 20 seconds. The first upgrade allows it to generate a hard to see force field that halves the damage taken by Blue Dragon for 9 seconds. The second upgrade causes missiles to shoot out when Blue Dragon dies. Altitude! Losing altitude! Personally, I was disappointed that it didn't trigger when the TechBot ability was used, since it's an upgrade for that skill, and with the power dedicated to healing, Blue Dragon shouldn't be dying anyways. Regardless, her last ability slot gives her bonus damage when shooting buildings with her guns and shooting flying enemies with her missiles. However, Blue Dragon's damage isn't that special, even with the missiles she shoots every 4 seconds that can bypass shields. The missiles that she shoots when she dies are also able to bypass shields, but they both can only hit one enemy at a time. Her machine guns hit quickly, which allows them to destroy portals the fastest. Here are the missiles bypassing shields. She can target enemies who are invisible, and fly over some terrain. When left shooting, 
Blue Dragon inches around, sometimes closer, but sometimes further away from her target. She stops moving around if she moves out of range of her machine guns. So, try to move her around yourself to keep this from happening. Full throttle. Seeking bogey. Skies are clear. Blue Dragon has low health, so it's necessary to heal her frequently. She doesn't receive shields from diplomats or armor boosts from rangers either. But, by far, Blue Dragon's best trait is the fact that she is flying. Not only does it prevent melee enemies from attacking her, but also lets her break the game. Start a mission with her as your hero. Right away, ditch all of your other units and send Blue Dragon straight to the end of the level. Destroy some portals on the way. Avoid whatever obstacles you encounter. Then, kill any enemies directly in your way. When more threats arise, just destroy them immediately. After a long while, she'll eventually destroy the objective. That is the true power of Blue Dragon. Blue Dragon has my recommendation to players who want a way of killing regular enemies instantly with a skill and breaking some levels with her flying capabilities. If her damage looks disappointing or her health seems too low, don't bother. But if she looks promising, don't hesitate to enlist the Blue Dragon to your army.